God is in the family, love is always there. When God is in the family, we're closer together. When God is in the family, blessings are found everywhere. When God is in the family, everyone we welcome you all to our hope for today's families do you think it is easy to develop a healthy family no it's never easy to develop or even maintain a healthy relationship you see as human being we always have the tendency to fail because of we're human beings what there is a good news yes because in this series entitled hope for today's families we have hope. We would like to enjoin you to be a part of a week-long presentation about several essential areas for successful family relations. Regardless whether you are single, married, annulled, never been married, with children or without children, young and old, you will find tools that, that can transform, transform yes, all your relationships from just a tolerable one to a magnificent one. So tonight, Let's talk about the family as God's invention. We will study from the beginning of time why it is important and the many roles it plays in our lives to give us a sense of self and stability that we need in order to go through with life. With Pastor Irma Jun Humawan and Mom Karen Humawan. Let's talk about the, the family, family, God's, God's invention. invention. But just before that, we will pray first. Father God in heaven, we recognize that on our own, we cannot have, neither maintain a healthy family relationship. But thank you that we have this privilege to learn together on some practical, practical tools and tips, O oh Lord, 
on how to have and maintain one. Be with our speakers and all of us as we listen, O Lord, to this presentation tonight. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today we will have this Teaching Kitchen episode and I am Dr. Michelle Palma. Together with me is my assistant, Margaret. Today we will be learning some of um, the recipes that we will teach you. Uh, this is repurposing food. Again, when we mean repurposing food is that using your food as medicine. So I promise that today we will be preparing some of the foods that we used to eat. It's just that we will be giving you healthy substitutes. All right, so as you can see in our table right now, we will be preparing four recipes. Okay, so now we will be making banana blossom patty. This is a very nice substitute for any burger made of meat. Okay, so this has no saturated fat and this is full of fiber that is really absent in any burger patty that you can find in the market. So our ingredients here are the following. We have one cup of banana blossom cut. This is fresh banana blossom and this time of pandemic, you can actually keep your banana blossom. I had this for over two months already and it's in my fridge and it's still good and we can still use it. So here, first we have again one cup of banana blossom and then we also have one cup of oatmeal flour. So it's very easy to create your oatmeal flour. You just have to put your oatmeal, whatever source you have in your pantry this time. It can be your quick uh, cooking Quaker oats or it can be your rolled oats, okay? So you just have to put this in your food processor and then blend them, okay? So until you get the consistency like that of a flour. And then we also need one tablespoon of spring onions chopped. We also need one tablespoon of of tomatoes this is diced tomatoes and then we also have here one tablespoon of onion diced onion and then we have one tablespoon of garlic minced garlic and of course we have a bit of a water okay just to have uh, the good consistency of the patty that we need okay so we only need a bowl like this to mix all the ingredients and then we just have this spatula to mix all the ingredients all right so margaret maybe you can help us out so here, you just have to pour banana blossom. And then next here is our oatmeal flour. Okay, thank you. And then you, we have the spring onions, everything there. Okay, and then we have the tomatoes. And we have the onion. And we have our garlic. Okay, so this is very easy. Just give it a good stir to combine all ingredients. And then this is the right time for us to add our water. Okay, good. So you just have to look at the consistency if it's already okay with you. If it's not, then you can add more water into it. And then this is the right time for us to add then the rest of the ingredients, which is um, black pepper and then salt just to season it. Okay, so here we season it with black pepper. Sometimes it's really nice to have your patty a bit spicy. So you can use your black pepper to do it and then season it with salt. It really depends on how salty you want it to be. And then just mix them all together. And now, this is uh, ready. So you have two options. You can either throw this to the oven. Of course, you have to preheat your oven to about 250 degrees centigrade, and then just place it there. And uh, it will cook depending on how thick your patty would be. It could cook in about 15 to 20 minutes and you're done. So that is zero oil, okay? So no fat at all. But if you don't have oven in your house right now, you can just fry it. You can also use non-stick pan, but if you don't have non-stick pan, then you can put some or a little bit of an oil and then fry them, okay? Like if you have a lot of um, uh, banana blossom, because there are, there are areas in the Philippines right now that has lots of banana blossom, you can also cook this by batch. All right, so 
uh, that means you may you may prepare a lot of this and then you can also uh, put this in a in a steaming uh, pot and so you can steam them and then you can preserve them in the fridge it can stay for over a month so here we have the patty ready and then we will put this in the oven or another thing is we can fry this over the pan all right so while our burger patty is in our oven while waiting for it this is the right time for us to prepare our vegan mayo okay so the only ingredients that we will be using first we have two blocks of tofu and then lemon we wanted the juice two tablespoons of um, brown sugar this is optional whatever kind of sweetener you may have you may use your honey agave or maybe dates to also do and then we also have dash of black pepper and then we also have one half teaspoon or one four teaspoon of your salt depending on the saltiness that you like okay so in this recipe we only need a bullet blender or any blender will do So you can always buy your tofu from the wet market, you can buy this from the grocery store or uh, if you want, you can also make your own tofu from scratch. So watch out for the upcoming episodes that we have in our teaching kitchen because we will be teaching you how to make your own tofu at home. So this vegan recipe is so simple. Once uh, finished, you can store this in the fridge and this can stay for over two weeks, sometimes three weeks depending on the temperature that you have in your fridge. Okay, so we have our tofu here right now and so we just need our uh, lemon juice. So approximately, you will be needing about two tablespoons of your lemon juice in this recipe. So this will provide you the sourness. Okay, next here is uh, we just have to add our sugar. And then, of course, our black pepper and our salt. Now, we also have here optional ingredients. Uh, we have here nutritional yeast. This will give you the cheesy-like taste. If you don't have this in your pantry, that's not a problem. Again, like I said, this is optional. So you can put about one to two tablespoons of this. And then another optional uh, ingredient here is oil. You may use uh, olive oil, extra virgin oil, pomace uh, olive oil if you are intending to make this stay for over three weeks. But if you're going to use it right away, then you don't need to put oil. Okay? So in this, this time, I'm not going to put oil. Then we just have to throw this in the blender. Let's check. So this is just the right texture that we want for a vegan mayo. Okay, so after 15 minutes, our uh, burger patty made of banana blossom is already ready. Okay, so here we have our banana blossom patty. Okay, so you will see the consistency when it's cooked in the oven, it's kind of dry. But if you want it to be juicy, then it has to have some oil, right? So, but we're getting rid of the, uh, of the excess oil. So the best uh, um, method of cooking is putting them in the oven, all right? So here we will be making the clubhouse um, sandwich. So of course we will be needing the bread and then we have the lettuce with us. And then you can also put some onions and then your tomatoes or if you have some cucumbers, you can use them as well. All right. So and then we will be needing the vegan mayo that we just created earlier. So here's the vegan mayo that we made earlier. So we need this in creating our vegan clubhouse sandwich. All right. So first we just have to assemble. We have here our bread and then we just have to put the vegan mayo. Just put a, your desired amount. It can be as thick as you want or as thin as you want. 
So there are some options where you can improve your vegan mayo. You can also add some cucumber relish if you want to, to add some sweetness to it. But this one, plain vegan mayo is already good enough. All right, so we just have to put there the mayo. And then the next thing is to put our lettuce. Margaret, maybe you can put here the patty. One patty over there. There you go. And then you can put some tomatoes. And then the onions. One more. All right. And then another pair of bread with the mayo. And this is so simple. Put it right there. Okay, and then we just need um, to cut the sandwich. This is optional again. If you're going to eat uh, them as a whole, then that's not a problem. All right. And then we can serve it here. So there you go. We have our clubhouse sandwich.
Good day, everyone. Welcome to Hope for Today's Families series, The Family God's Creation. In this series, we are going to study the importance of families and the factors why many families seem hopeless today. And this series was based from the book written by Willie and Elaine Oliver. Willie and Elaine Oliver have been married for 35 years. Wow. And they have two adult children. In their spare time, they enjoy taking long walks, beach vacations, gardening, exotic cuisines, and spending time with family and friends. Can you tell me more about them? Our authors, my dear friends, are the directors of the Family Ministries Department of the General Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist World Headquarters in Silver Spring, Maryland, USA. So basically, in this seminar, we will be talking about families. So what is a family? Well, family is a wonderful word that stirs up warm feelings in most people around the world. It is the first thing people think about when in danger and also when there is something good to share or celebrate. So when we talk about family, this is a place where we, we find joy. Amun siya ang place na kung sadin, do pinaka secure kita. Amun siya ang place na kung sadin, we want to be with, no? Nga duog na kung sadin, we, we feel, we enjoy, and we feel we are safe. Yes, naga agreed ako sina. And family is also the first thing that comes to our mind. Especially bala kung nagapalayo kita, like when we go to school or we go to work in a faraway place, we always have that longing to be home. Nga makapuli kita sa aton family. And kasagaran sa mga tao, they want to go home to hug their loved ones, to interact with their loved ones, and to enjoy that familiar surroundings in their homes. The truth is, after God, family is consistently the most significant group of people that makes us feel safe, secure, and warm. That is really true. And the experience of family did not happen by chance. In other words, my dear friends, family is not just a coincidence. Family is not just a, something that pop out, but family are actually what? Are actually part already in the plan of God. And the question is, why family is so important? Now, dear friends, family is important first because it was already in the mind of God. This is the plan of God for the human race from the very beginning of time. It is the group from which we get our identity, our name, and our traditions. And family are the people we have a long-term relationship with. And frequently, we feel the most comfortable with them. Yes. And family is almost always where we get our strength. Dira kita yan nagahugot sang kusog every time we face challenges. And our family is our greatest influencers in our lives. And they are our motivators to aspire and to reach our goals. And ang ginasiling pabala nila nga, you, who you become and who you, uh, who you really are is because of your family also. In other words, uh, this is actually what? This is actually the group that defines who we are. Yes, exactly. When we think of family, we reflect on our parents, brothers and sisters, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, spouse, and children. And sometimes we even consider good friends to be family. And in fact, there are also other times that our good friends, we consider them as our better family members rather than our own family members. The reason for this is because we grew up together in the same church or neighborhood. And we are from the same city or country. We belong to the same tribe or region. We adapted each other or connected in some special way. Or we share similar values 
or goals or affinities. Now, we see here that when we talk about family, when we think about it or when we reflect about it, there are actually memories that are coming to us. It may be the memory of faces, we have the memories of shapes, we have the smells, the conversations, private or public spaces, a house or apartment, a city or a suburb or a farm or a village, a church or a school, a kitchen and food. These are yes. the, you know, the things that comes to our minds when we remember the word family. These are really wonderful memories to be created. So meaning to say, Pastor, that the more time we spend with people or our family members, the more we get closer, the more we build these lasting relationships and we create wonderful memories. That's right. So we are creating wonderful memories. And uh, that's why if you, let's say, you see somebody's face and then the face looks familiar, familiar. to one of your family members, then you, you try to, to think about your family yeah. now in genesis chapter 1 27 and 28 there my dear friends is written about the beginnings of the family in this verse it says so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and, and multiply, multiply. Yes, yes, and fill the earth and subdue it. You see here that at the start of the creation, at the start of this world, God had established the family. So he created the male and female. Yeah, so family is really very important for God, to God. So, the Bible also, the inspired literature that describes God's conversation with human beings testify to that. And it shares there in the first chapter of the first book that God created the family. Gintuga, gidyas ang ginoo ang family. He has that in mind. He had that in mind from the very beginning. Ano siya sang family? Emphasizing the high importance of this basic unit in society as for god this and is because yes, you know god is love yeah yes he created god family is so loving and he wanted us to have uh to experience this family and consequently uh god wanted us to have a family or to feel uh, at home with so our family. it's very clear right now that family is not an accident yes and you know that expression yeah Family, our family here or our home here is like a little heaven here on, on earth. earth. It was, yes. it was part of the plan of God. You know that despite God's plan for the happiness of the family, we all know things have not always worked as well as they were supposed to. Husbands and wives often do not get along. The marriage that was meant to last until death often ends in divorce or the relationship doesn't even get to marriage before giving birth to children separating and you know there is uh, causing uh, separation yeah, in divorce and lots of pain. yeah in lots of pain so as you can see in the picture right now that a ha once a happy the once happy family because of some um, issues instead of having a good family relationship it ends up uh, in a broken family. in a broken family a broken yes. relationship and that is so sad to hear that is really really sad so we see that parents and children are becoming angry with each other they fight with each other they have this uh, grudge with each other and you know parents feel that they are being disrespected by their children. So, amunin nagkakatabu subong nga ang mga bata, nagbato na sa ilang mga ginikanan. So, ang mga ginikanan, they feel that they are being disrespected. While on the other hand, the children also feel that they are being controlled 
or they are not given the chance to be free to choose. So amun siya ang gakatabu usubong. And the saddest thing there is some children also feel nga ginabandu na sila sang ila nga mga ginikanan who uh, who are supposed to be the ones who will be taking care of them. So ini siyang mga experiences, Pastor, often confuses us because from the very beginning, ang design di sang ginoo sa family is for us to to experience love, God's love. Because di ba ang family is the uh, we, it represents the image of God. But what we can see nowadays confuses us because we anticipated that this family would bring a sense of happiness and warm feelings and security. But it had changed completely. It's the opposite way. So for many people in our world today, perhaps even for those who are watching right now we do not know exactly what is happening to them but uh probably experience maninila nga mga kasakit sa ila family yes we see it's very clear my dear friends that uh what god uh expected for families to thrive yeah did not happen no wala siya natabo we know that we will know later uh all throughout our series the reason why we were not able to have this kind of family nga ara sa plano sang Gino. But it's very clear nga ang happy family nga gindesign sang Gino, hindi na amuin na ang kahimtang sa madamo sa mga families right now. And as uh, said earlier, that maybe you who are watching right now are also experiencing this uh, kind of family, family problems. Yeah, family problems in which it looks like we are hopeless. But in the face of disappointment and distress, we are pleased to share that this, there is hope for today's family. There Amen. is really hope for today's family. And left to the popular attitudes in our society of thinking about ourselves first, second, and always, what can I get rather than what can I give? Families will continue to experience anguish, depression, gloom, hopelessness, and misery. And our ultimate hope is only through Jesus Christ. Christ. So Jesus Christ can give us hope for this hopeless world yes. right now. If we are going to have Jesus Christ in our family, we will always have that hope. Now, this hope is in taking another look at the principles God meant for the people to follow so that their families could be what he created them to be so there there is actually a manual for families to keep so that the families will experience that kind of happy family that god wanted for his people so beyond just taking a, a look or putting these principles into practice enables us to experience the joy the warmth and peace that family was designed to bring. So it is not only enough that we will just listen or hear the principles of God for His people, but we have to be what? We have to be intentional. We have to practice these principles. Yes, because practice makes perfect, they yes. say. So how would you describe your family relationships right now, my dear friends? Is there peace uh, and sense of satisfaction in your family in your home each day or does your family life feel more like a street fight you are trying to get away from or simply attempting to survive every day do you think you are making progress in your quest for developing a stronger and healthier family or are you feeling angry frustrated irritated and more helpless with every passing day. What can be done to improve your relationships from apparent failure to working relationships where family members truly communicate? These are the questions that need answer. Okay? These are the questions that only Always. if there are, yes, only if there are absolute answers to this, I believe that family will really be a happy family. Yes. 
Okay, so that is a very good question or questions indeed. Now, the truth is that there are no perfect families, no brothers and sisters, because there are also no perfect people. Wala sa perfect nga tao sa sininga kalibutan. And as long as we are here, we would always experience this. So, when we talk about a family that feels connected, no, we are not talking about a family without any problems. We are not talking about uh, get perfect in your family. Rather, we are describing a family that enjoys relati relatively high levels of satisfaction and stability among its members. So, solid get in a family. So, I mean, you don't need to have a perfect family. All you need to do is to have a happy family with a hope. So, a family that is connected in a healthy way. So, ano ni siyang healthy way? So, spouse and children, spouses, parents, and children are intentional, sa ginhambal mo na pastor, about managing conflicts in a timely manner and are committed to being patient, kind, understanding, and forgiving. So, kaya hindi kita perfect, makasalagi kita sometimes. So, in order for us to have a healthy family, we need to forgive each other. We need to be kind to each other. We need to understand each other's uh, challenges. While this kind of commitment is not easy, it is worthwhile and will contribute to the happiness of uh, each of the members of the family together with good health and quality life. So, we can have this as long as we will practice this attributes. Healthy connection, healthy connection can be achieved, my dear friends, if we are intentional, intentional and yes. we are committed. Uh, we, we really need to do something. We must have an effort. Uh, it's, yes, uh, it's to simply the, say, that is the word. Yes, we need to have an effort if we want to achieve connection in our family. Now, for families to make it through the years with a high probability of success, it is important for family members to be committed to making it through each day, one at a time. One day at a time. We have to do something. We have to make an effort, as I've said already, and every member of the family must be purposeful about getting along with, with each other in meaningful ways every day. It should not be that uh, one person is committed and the rest of the family members are not committing themselves to be to achieve a healthy connection. So every member of the family has to be intentional. Now we have to listen to each other, practicing being patient with each other. When doing the opposite is so much easier because it comes naturally. So uh, let's say... You don't want to listen. It's very natural for us not to listen. But we have to practice because by practicing, we can develop this kind of attitudes and characters that is uh, needed to have how to have a happy family. Now, these are the habits that if practiced daily, will build stronger and healthier families over the years. And the members of the family feel safe, secure, and they feel love, making it so much easier to deal with the difficulties that they are going to undertake or experience. So this kind of family relationship is better than any insurance policy. Yeah. So when it comes to um, a family. So makita yes. natin din nung uh, uh, ang pag-practice natin sa isa kamalipayon ng panimalay ang pag-practice natin sa mga attitude nga nagadulong sa isa kamalipayan nga panimalay, labaw pag siya sa insurance policy. Yes. No? Though, sa atin pa, this is much, much more valuable. This is much more important in having important. a happy family. And last thing. Now, uh, family specialists, my dear friends, actually, they, they often say that the quality of family depends on the quality of their communication. So you see that if you want to have a happy or quality family, you have to have a quality communication. So you see here the importance of the word communication. 
and that is trying to grow a strong family relationship. So if you try to grow a family relationship without a healthy communication, it is just like attempting to make grape juice without grapes. So it is simply so it is impossible. impossible. Now you see here that if we really want to have a quality family, it starts with a quality communication. So it's like the air that we breathe. Without communication in the family, our family is like dead, no? Dead yeah, that's our right. Relationships of family, not. So how can you how can you say that a family is happy when they don't communicate with each other? Yes. So you exactly. see here that you know talking, sharing, naga istorihane kamo sa sulod sa inyong panimalay. This gives us now the what the picture ng isa ka panimalay malipayon kung sila permi may ara ginatawag naton yung communication. And healthy communication is the primary skill. Yes. Needed for maintaining a strong sense of family. The closer the family relationship becomes, the more caring and respectful the communication must be. So it requires a skill, actually. Yeah, so it we need to practice skill. in order for us to have that skill. So good communication, man siguro, Pastor, no? Like, hindi ma itasin mga communication na maginaway kamo na communication man ayapon mo ay minsan singgit tane that is a bad communication that is a bad communication so the communication that we are talking about here is the open communication between family members yes it's a communication that you can you can express you can openly express your feelings even your negative feelings you can openly express because you have practiced already this good communication in which the other person listening. is listening and while the other person is, is talking. Okay, so we have Stefan R. Covey. This is a leading family expert and he wrote the, bo the books, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Families. And in this book, he shared the concept, Be Proactive. So be proactive as a skill to the use for effective Communication. So this is a very good book for families to read and to learn. Kung paano bala magcommunicate kita in a proactive way. So it's telling us that we should really be proactive in in communicating. So in essence, so the idea indicates that between the stimulus and the response, what's or what someone says to you and how you respond. So sa in between sina may space, no? May space dera sa ginhambal mo kag sa reaction sa ang ginhambalan mo. So and in that space, each family member has the freedom and the power to choose their response. Is it is it right? Yes. Oh yes, exactly. So what they say and how they say it, and that response is truly at the foundation of their growth. And happiness as a family, because you you always have a choice. Kung ano ang mga reaction mo sa ginhambal sa imo sa imo a family member. And for this concept to work, brothers and sisters, so a family is able to communicate effectively. This skill has to be practiced. So kinanglan nga practice on git sigi sigi as tanga maanad. Tanga amu na gina yung ato niya nga normal nga pag-communicate inside the home. So before kita mag-answer, let's say may ginhambal ka sa akin, dahil initially ang reaction ko do akigo. Okay, maybe there are steps to follow, no? Ano ay hanam mga steps nga ifollow naton to to have this proactive way of communicating within our family. So there are three things that we must uh, we must do or must happen in that space between what the family member says to you and how you respond. So ano ay hani na ang first thing na dapat himuon? So as you as you see here, uh, these are the three things that we need to remember. Uh, these are the the things that we need to practice. Yeah. During the space, okay, between the stimuli and the response. Response. So, amun siya aton mga kabianan ang 
tatlo ka mga bagay nga pwede natong mahimo agod nga makaano kita makahimo kita sang good nga communication so ara dira ang um, pause think and you have to choose now we're going to the, the first part thing. yeah the first thing to remember during the space time is that you must pause no um just try to think of this kung ang asawa nagasigi siya sing hambal nga hambal tapos ang bana nagasigi man siya sing hambal nga hambal yes sige man siya sabat so makita naton that there will be a miscommunication no? there will be a miscommunication so uh, in the process of waiting yeah. sang person nga naghambal amo siya ginatawag naton nga space you have to pause You have, to you, you have to pause. pause. You don't need to answer right away. You have to just simply have a quiet uh, time. yes, a quiet time. Very short again siya in in matter of seconds na siya. Amo na siya ginatawag na tong space. Instead of responding immediately to what your father or your mother or daughter or son, husband or wife is saying you, you have to allow yourself to what? You have you you have to allow yourself to calm down. And that's why uh, if you can see sa mga crimes nga nagakatabo, nga if you will ask them what happened and they will said uh, na impito sila because they responded right away. Yeah. No? Instead of cal- calming themselves, they responded right away. So that's the very first thing that we need to remember. You we to have pause. to what? We have to pause. Okay, so the next thing there is that you must then think Think about what you should or should not say. Because ang tendency ginaton is uh, usually maano kita da yun, masabat kita da yun. Especially kung ang ginahambal sa aton, let's say be something na hindi good para sa aton. Mm-hmm. We say maybe para sa iya ya, hindi to ya something na, na namin ya nga bad. Pero para sa imo ya, gin-receive mo ito nga do, hindi, do, hindi amuhaw. So, so as some people says you have to approve without thinking, but no. No, that's not the case yes. in in that space. You yeah. you must then think about what you should say or not say. You have to really, uh, really, really yes, think. you have really you have to evaluate to evaluate analyze. Mo, siya kung ano ni ko amo ni isabat ko ano ay hanamangin reaction niya maayo balani or hindi. And I, I think we will have a better world if. <laughs> Of if all of us will if be able practice to practice this this one, this one. Yes. okay so that's very nice we have to we have to pause, have to pause and, then, and then think yes we have to think what to say or not to say and the the last thing here to remember during the space time is we have to make a choice you have to choose you must choose the correct response what will bring peace rather than war to the situation at hand if you say Okay, let's go to war. That that will really be yeah. the outcome of the the communication. But you have to choose. Remember that happiness is a choice. Yes, right? exactly. I really like that phrase. Yeah. Happiness is a choice. Yes, you have to. You really have to choose whether what you'll be saying will will result to a conflict or what you will be saying will result to a resolution of the problem. So, di ba, uh, may verse sa Bible nga nagasiling, a soft answer turns Turn away wrath. Yes. So, if that person is like angry, tayo mo, no, ma-pause ka, ma-think, and then you answer in a soft way. In do, a soft so, manner. So, in other words, do kung, if I remember it right, it is just like crossing the road. You have to stop, you have to, you have to look, you have, you have to listen. listen. Okay? Yeah. So, That's uh, almost the same sang ato niya ginadiscussable. You have to pause, you have to think, and finally, you have to choose. Okay. So, those are the things that we have to remember during the space time. No? Yeah. During, before you answer, there's a space time, you have to pause, you have to think, and you have to choose. So, by doing that, you are communication, you're communicating in a proactive, proactive way proactive or that way. proactive way, skill of communication. So the quality of our family life will have much to do with the quality of our communication. So families who speak with each other regularly, but silingon nga pero migi kamuyan nagaistoryahan na, you know. 
and lovingly. Okay, with love yung kita mag magistorya, di nga may kaakil or something, no? or impatient kita. With love, get, and then uh, we experience a level of closeness. Mm -hmm. So amo ginaya ang reason nga ang aga close ka mo kay nami gid ang inyo nga pag communicate uh, with each other within the family. So this is very interesting that when you communicate it should be regularly. Yeah, regularly. So uh, it it's does not, not once a month. Yes. <laughs> it should be uh, there, there must be a specific uh, yes, yeah. it's constant, no? Constant it's communication. Con it's a constant communication and not only regularly it should be uh, lovingly experience lovingly. and yes. those people those family who are communicating regularly will really experience a, a closeness no? a bond that is uh, what we wanted in to today's achieve, yeah, yeah yeah we want we wanted to to achieve so this is very very important my dear friends so communication here is the key communication okay. is the key no? to a happy family Yes, yeah, so communication is the key. Now it takes determination to build a great family. But anything that is worth doing is worth doing well. So make the commitment to communicate well and watch your family blossom and grow in the days, weeks, months, and years ahead. Now let every family right now who are watching will become channels of hope for other families who are hopeless today. And finally, we have a passage here from the scripture in the book of Romans that says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So this uh, time... We would like to thank everyone for uh, making sure that you are able to learn this uh, yes, exactly. in this study. And we, we really pray that you have learned something this, uh, in this study, like communication. Yes. And tomorrow, there will be another topic for this series that will guide us how to have a happy family. Watch out for it because yes. it will change your your lives and with that before we will end this program we are asking you to please bow your heads and we will have our prayer this time shall we pray father god in heaven we thank you so much for establishing family at the very beginning and we know now that family is not just a coincidence but family is part of your plan for humanity. However, dear God, we have seen that family today becomes hopeless because there was something that happened in the very beginning that leads us to many hopeless conditions. And one of that is the miscommunication that took place in the Garden of Eden. But Lord, we have learned at this study, in this study, that in order to have a good family, there must be a good communication. And in that communication, and in that space-time, we have to pause, we have to think, and we have to make a choice, and we have to choose the things that will result to a happy family. Dear Lord, thank you for the assurance that if we will just be intentional in practicing this good communication and committed to do this. We believe that our family here on earth will become a heaven, a little heaven here on earth. Thank you for blessing our program and thank you for keeping safe also our listeners in this study. Thank you so much for hearing our prayers. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, there, there is, is hope, hope for, for today's, today's families. families. Thank you and God bless everyone. God bless everyone.